Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. This is not in your book. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So this is a tool for the Moses is talking about the real Jews. We are poor and we're in poverty. We live in the ghettos. We live in the council estates. You are the last, last ayah and first fire. Yeah? You are poor and you've gone through tribulation. Listen. But thou art rich. You are spiritually rich. Because you can inherit the kingdom of heaven if you come back as an Israelite and keep the law, statutes, and commandment. Read. And I know the blasphemy. And who? And I know the blasphemy. Blasphemy means lies. Of them which say they are Jews and are not. And are what? And are not. They're not Jews, my brother. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. Are they? The synagogue of Satan. What is the Jewish man? The synagogue of Satan. That's why, my brother. That's why we are here, my brother. We are here to teach. We're not out here to be taught. I agree with this one. But what I'm trying to say is... So you must agree with everything else in the Bible. No, not everything in the Bible. Because the Bible has been changed many times. No, nah, my the brother. The Bible has been changed many times. Nah. If you want to read the history... Give me First Peter. All right, now give me Psalms 12 and 6. And give me First Peter 1 and we're going to go down to 24. Go please, sir. The Bible says Mark, Mark 12, 29. If you want to... If you mind to read Mark 12 29, it said the first. He said you don't believe in the Bible. I told you I know my Bible. You I can't be you. lukewarm, you know. You have to be hot or you have to be cold. I didn't tell you I believe. You, to learn. you don't even want to read my Quran to see what. We don't, because we don't believe in the Quran, my brother, man. Read and learn and nah, man. Knowledge. We don't believe in no damn when Quran. It's unholy. That's why, that's why I it's a Bible lie, to, man. I read the Bible to you. And you listen, my brother, Quran. man. Mark 12, 29 says, Anyway, listen, read up, read up, read up. This is talking about the prophets and the teachers, you hear me? This one yo, brother. yo, yo, this is talking about the prophets and the teachers of this. I, I said to you, brother, we're not out here to be taught by no one. If you're not going to take our teaching, I suggest... I've got three minutes to go. The road is there, my brother. But I'm trying to say, we're here to teach, yeah? Okay, okay. All right, listen to this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13, from the top. Now they were there in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger what it was called that was called nigger is nigger in the Bible that was called nigger so the Christians in the time were called also nigger and nigger from the Greek word as you know you show him you show him well, brother as I said to you this is a true book this is the book that the unholy Quran recite. If you want knowledge and wisdom, you need to come back this to this. This is book. not nigger. This is Niger. No, 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 no. This is Niger. This is the stuff. This is the Strong's Concordance. This is the, the, the Greek word that's there. So you know. You see you've got the verse. You go into it. It's got the original manuscript up there. You, know, you go into each individual word. And then you go into that word which you say is pronounced Niger. Right? See there? Your Psalms? Is black. Right, and watch this. Strong's G, 3526. Niger. Niger. So it's not pronounced Niger. That's how it's pronounced. You see that, my brother? That's what I'm trying to say, my brother. We are up here to teach you. You learn something new. Yeah. Right? So just humble yourself. You said, oh, let me show you about this word of this Bible. Your precept? This is the same, the same verse, but in a different translation, right? Acts chapter 13 verse 1 in the NLT Among the prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch of Syria were Barnabas, Simeon, called the black man Called the what? The black man The word, the word that we just read, nigger, is called the black man So the ancient, the older Christian then, we, it was us my brother man So now, so now So now Because remember, Quran teaches me that Mankind are all equal, white, black. Does God love everyone? Does God yes. love everyone? That's what my friend teaches me. There's no superiority between a white man or black man or. Give me so Second you, Corinthians. When you read this nigger, what are you trying to infer to? Because for me, I believe in. What color is Christ? What color is Christ? Yeah. Christ he, is not a white man. But what color is he? It's symmetric. It's, 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 oh my lord. All right. Hold your foot. Let me show you what Christ is. Give me I Revelation. Christ is black or let's, white. let's show you the Bible. Let's give me, give me this Revelation. 
And may, by the way, if Christ, I'm going to show the color of Christ. And once, if you accept it. Oh, is this New Testament or Old Testament? We're going to read from the New Testament, Revelations. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the can seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. The who? One like unto the Son of Man. That is Christ, Yahweh Shia Mashiach. The world ignorant will call him Jesus Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he had a golden girdle like a champion belt, like a boxer. Because he's the king, man. Come on, man. Christ, read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. Head and his hair. So he gave you a color and a texture. The color is white represents. He's got gray hair. He's got wisdom. You know, like you're getting a little gray there on your beard. Wisdom. And the texture is wool. So my question is now, which race of people got woolly hair texture? Woolly texture hair. Look at that man here right there. Look at my hair. Look at his hair. So this is... <laughs> so this is the description of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a black man. Now let's, let's read on some more. Watch this. And his eyes were, were as a flame of fire. Eyes as a flame of fire because Christ, well, hold on, hang on. Christ drank wine. You know, like your eyes are a little bit red. That's all our people because it's only us when we, when we drink wine like that, our eyes get red. Read. So Christ, so far, he got woolly texture here. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his what? And his feet like unto fine brass. You see the top of your feet? It is the same as your whole body, the color of your feet. So it says his feet were like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? A penny. A penny. What color is brass. It's a penny, yeah? All right. Are we going to find out how dark Jesus Christ is? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. As if what? As if they burned in a furnace. So my brother. If you burn anything in a furnace or a fire, what color does it come out? If you burn toast, what color does toast come out? It depends on how, how, how if you burn rice, my brother, listen carefully. How, how long you left it on the fire? All right, I, I said yeah. to you, if you burn it toast, is, it could be this color of your jacket. If you left it, if you left it longer, it could be black. It depends on how you left it for long. Give me John sixty-three and sixty-four. John 6 and 64. What about Moses? So do you accept that Jesus Christ is a black man? No yet. Because, uh, this is for you. Watch it. This is for you. I just read to you the description of Christ. Because and give me first John 5 and 9. Jesus is a of, of Abraham. John, John chapter 6 verse 64. But there are some of you that believe not. There are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were. Your spirit that's in you came back into this body before and Christ know who you are. Who they were that believe not. Because you don't believe. It's a spiritual thing, my brother. So who is Jesus? And who should betray him? And you most probably will betray my brother, man. That's not good. Who is Jesus? Give me first, first John 5 and 9. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to answer your question, but watch this. First John chapter 5 and verse 9. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of Yahweh is of God is greater. So if we read and listen to the lies and the stories of man, you must listen to the story of God because it's even greater. Read. But this is the witness of God. Who is God? Is it? Which he have testified of his son. Read. He that believeth on the Son of God have the have the witness in himself. Because we believe in Yahweh Shia Mashiach, we have the witness in ourselves. Right. right? Read. He that believeth not God, he that what? He that believeth not God, have made him a liar. What is this man? Have made him a liar. Automatically, if you don't believe this book, automatically by default, because this word, word is true, you are a liar. Right? And we don't deal with liar. But read on, read, read on some more. Read on some more. Because he believeth not the record that... Why this man don't believe? Because he believed not the record that God gave of his son. I just read to you the description of Christ and you believe not. 
because he believed not the record that God gave of his son. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. This life, the only way you can get eternal life, you have to walk through Christ to get to the heavenly father. You can't go through Muhammad. That's, that's nonsense, my brother. You might as well be a Buddhist, my brother. You might as well worship a, 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 a bloody rat, man. We got that, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. One second, one second. That's a personal opinion. If you get time, you read the Quran. You can see that it's... I read the Quran. You haven't read the Quran. I read the Quran. You haven't read the Quran. So you know me. When you read the Quran, you read it... Read on. You read it with sincere heart. You find out that it correlates to everything that we are living today. What right. prophecy are? Name me one prophecy that the Quran prophesied. Just one. In, in the Quran. Yeah, one. There are so many prophecies. Okay, name me one. One. Yeah, just one. It, 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 Not two, just one. One prophecy. Yeah. Yes. I can give you many, but it depends on it depends on the topic. The topic. I can give you many. Yo, give me, give me, give me uh, Amos, Amos nine and ten, man. Give me Amos nine and ten. I said that's not what he wants. So I, I, I said to you, my brother, give me one prophecy from the Quran. Yeah. One prophecy. Man, what do you mean by prophecy? Man, auntie. What do you mean by prophecy? You don't know. You know, you see? My oh, brother, you don't know what prophecy so, is. Every time I answer, you said that's not the answer you want. That's what I'm saying. What prophecy you want? What prophecy you want? Tell me anyone. Because scientifically, I can give you scientifically. Science. No, we science, don't. Hold on, sorry, Amos 9 and 10. Amos 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. To who? Unto his servants, the prophets. Muhammad is not a prophet, brother. You need to understand that. We go. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. By the what? By the sword. Still following this Quran, my brother, even though I'm trying to show you it's not for you. You following it, my brother, you're sinning. And the most I say he's gonna kill you. If Christ see you, he's gonna kill you on spot because you don't want to let her go of this unholy Quran, my brother. Christ is a Muslim. Abraham is a Muslim. <laughs> Preacher. This is second second John chapter one and verse nine. What is the meaning of a Muslim? A Muslim is someone who submits to the will of Allah. God. My brother, you don't understand what you're it's talking about, God. man. So and I said, we don't subscribe to, sorry, and we don't subscribe to that. Second John chapter 1 and verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, have not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he have both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him, God's speed is a partaker of evil deeds, having many things to write unto you. I write not with paper and ink, but I trust to you, to unto you, and speak face to face, that our joy may be full. My precept, my brother, and I said to you, my brother, you just have to listen to us. I'm trying to understand prophecy so that I can give you more from the Quran. I gave you one prophecy already. The prophecy was that thy sons and thy daughter in Deuteronomy 28 and 32, thy sons and daughters shall be go, sit on, um, be given unto another people. That was a prophecy and it came to pass. It was you true. Still, you are still referring it, to this. We mean, that's where my brother, listen, you need to understand is that that's where, listen, I don't want to argue with my brother because I'm trying to teach you, man, and you're, you're annoying me, man. I'm being honest. I'm being honest, man. Read on. This is the book. I'm here for the one them that wants to hear. If you want to forbear, if you don't want to listen, my brother, that's fine. You can keep it moving. This is the He's a black, everyone in the Bible, my brother, is a black man. God is a black man. Right. The God that make you is a black man. That's right. Do you accept that? Do you want me to show you that God is a black man? Daniel 9. Daniel. Um, this is the book of Daniel 10 and verse 5, I think. Give I'm going to show you that God is black. And give me John, give me John 14 and 9. I'm going to show you two scriptures before you go. Daniel and John 14 and 9. But give me Daniel first. Daniel on um, 9 and. 10 and 9, Slack here. 10 and 9. 10 and 5. Yeah. This is the book of Daniel 10 and verse 6. Slack. I wonder where the ancient house has been sitting. 
Yeah, yeah that one there, yeah. Because he even said that Christ, God is not a... Chapter got it. Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days... The who? The Ancient of Days did sit. Who is the Ancient of Days? Yeah, Ancient of Days. Ancient of Days. Older than days, ancients of days. Welcome, my brother. Listen to you. We're just showing him that God that made you is a black man. You know that, yeah? You see, your fool is seven. Uncle, I'm not trying to dis I'm not trying to disrespect. Show uh, me. No, uh, let's show it. Okay, okay, cool. Read on, read on. Daniel chapter seven, verse nine. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. Did what? Did sit. So he had a body. For you to sit down, you must have a body. You agree? Okay, but do you agree? We read. Asians of days did sit. For you to sit down, that means you have to have a body. Right? You agree? Right, read. Whose garment was white as snow. Read that, read that again, read that again from the top. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. For you to sit down, you must have a bottom for you to sit down. Right? Brother, yeah. Exactly. You're smart, brother. You're smart, brother, man. Re respect, man. Reader, reader, reader. We're gonna read up. Whose garment was white as snow? Whose what? Whose garment was white as snow? He had on a white garment on. For his body that he had. Yeah. Says, and the and the hair of his head like the pure wool. What is the texture of the heavenly Father here? Pure wool. Pure wool. Christ, the heavenly Father is a black man. The best you read. Yeah. I'm trying to understand where it says we are talking about God. Because I didn't say. He said the ancient of days. The heavenly Father is the ancient of days. You're not ancient. No man is ancient. So it has to be the heavenly Father, my brother. Read this. Read this. John 14 and, and 9. What is my brother? What's this? John chapter 14 verse 9. Yeah, how is I saith unto him, have I have I been so long time with you? And yet at start at um, verse 9. Um no, sorry, sorry, 9 is fine. Uh, as John 14 and 9. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time? I said the John 14 and 8. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father. What did Philip say to Christ? Lord, show us the Father, and it, and it satisfies us. So Philip asks him, which is a disciple, asks him, Christ, yo, Christ, show us the Father, man. We've seen you because you're coming in the flesh, but what does the Father look like? Read. And it suffiseth us. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, have I been so long time with you, and yet has thou not known me, Philip? So Christ says, Philip, you've been so long time knowing me, we're chilling, you hang around me, and you don't know what the Father look like. Read. He that hath seen me have seen the Father. That's what did right. Christ say? He that hath seen, seen me have seen the Father. What, why would Christ say, he that has seen me have seen the Father? You know why? Read on, watch this, watch this. And how sayest thou, then show us, show us the Father. Believe thou not that I am in the Father. What did Christ say? Believe that thou, believe thou not that I am in, in, in the Father. So Christ saying, don't you believe me that I'm in the Father? Let me explain that to you, my brother. Because this is what Christianity has done. They tell you about the Trinity. Right. Is it possible that someone can look like their father, biologically, identically. Is it possible? Is, is it possible that someone, a son, can look identically like his father? Is it possible? Can. Have certain features, but not identical. But exactly the same. Not the same DNA. So it's not possible. You get my point. It's basically identical. So read this again. What Christ says? Same place. He that he that he that have seen me have seen the Father. And how thou then saw 
Thou gayest then, thou, thou then, shew us the Father. Beneath Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? So Christ is saying, though you believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me. Meaning again, my son, I've got a son. Everyone says he looks exactly like me. Even his mannerism is like me. So Christ is saying, remember, he's the only begotten son. So Christ is saying, I look exactly like my father. I act like my father. I do the same thing as my father does. Right? So that's to debunk the Trinity. Right? He's making a clear difference. He's only just saying, look, I look at my father. That's it. We done. So that means God is one. Exactly. You got the heavenly father. You got Christ, say, my brother, you and you got man, you, and you got the woman. That's the hierarchy. All right, give me Matthew 16 and 9. I'm going to show you that Christ is different God from the heavenly father. You said God is one, I'm going. The words that I spake unto so you, you that, that, I spake not that's the most of myself. The wonders of God. As so long as you believe in the wonders of God, yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I read the Quran again. One so, time. okay. So, are you an Israelite? Now I need to read. I don't like I, because when you say I gave the example, Netanyahu said right. Netanyahu, they said they are Israelites. Alright, don't worry, man. You know, we are really keep on reading the Quran because Jewish. that's what you want to believe. Jewish. Jewish. Okay, huh? Jewish. This, this they are Jewish. Okay, the difference is Jewish oh. and Israel. Okay, I got you. We got. So for me to say I'm Israelite. Brother, what listen to this last one. Right. So, if anything else, you as a black man, whether you believe you're an Israelite or not, this is a this is one great reason why you shouldn't be in Islam and shouldn't follow Muhammad, right? This is Sahih al Bukhari, so it's from the Hadiths, five hundred five thousand six hundred eighty six. It says, uh, "Oh, like it, so like it, so like it. It's a different one. Stay with me, though. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me." Before you proceed, Quran supersedes Hadith. Yeah, hold on. What's this? What's the word? That's why. That's why. Are you gonna the Quran? Yeah. Right. That's the word. Okay. This is Sahih Muslim 1602. It says, There came a slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle on migration. He, the unholy prophet, did not know that he was a slave. So Muhammad did not know that this man who pledged allegiance was a slave. It says, Then there came his master and demanded him back. Whereupon Allah's apostle said, Sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. So he valued the, 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 the life of this man as the life of two black men. Right? And then he sold, he sold this man for two slaves. So he, t he sold two black men. That's Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah, and Muhammad is a pedophile as well, by the way. Do you know that? Now, now, now what you saying is Bilal. How old was Aisha? Bilal. How old was Aisha? Bilal is the most respected black man in Islam. Right. Was a slave. He was a slave. How old was Aisha? And how was he free? But when one man bought him and freed him. Ask we got This is the book of the unholy Quran, Sayaban Daiwa 67 something something. I heard that the people of the Prophet of Allah, who's that? Who's that? Muhammad, yeah? yeah? Water is brought for you from the well of Buddha. It is a well which dead dogs, menstrual clothes, and excrement of people are thrown. And the message of Allah replied, Verily, water is pure and is not defiled by anything. Do you believe that? Yes. yes. What are you pure? What does it mean? What? The, the, That's what he the, said. The, he said it's pure by everything. What is pure? What it means is we. So would you drink? Would you would you drink pussy tampa water? Mm. Which water? No. Would you drink menstrual water? No, no, That's not, what it says. No, 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 it's not true. This is not authentic. What you are reading? Sadan Aban Daiwa 67. What you are reading is not part of my religion. You see that? The, the, the see, now you don't want to associate with this no, part no, of the no, religion. No, 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 it's not like I don't want to associate. The problem is. All right, over this Aisha. You you tell them pick. You tell them pick. I'm not cherry picking now by you asking you. All right, over this with Aisha. You, are, you see, you're jumping. Let's. Was Aisha one. nine years old? Let's finish with them. This one you read is not brother. authentic. My well, brother, listen this to me. Yeah. If I see Mohammed right now, this yeah. One is not anyway, wait, where are you? Ask her. Before I go, this is not what you read is not authentic. It's not part of my religion. What it means is we make um, the wudu 
that will do with me. Let me talk on the I'm woman then, man, because I still want to bring up my lesson. All right, give me um, Deuteronomy 22 and 23. Anyway. Anyway, my brother, you listen. My, you are not reading my... Repent, my brother. We've got love for you. Repent. You're an Israelite and throw the Holy Quran in the bin, yeah? Okay. Unholy, yeah? No problem, no problem. I would like to advise you to read the Quran sincerely. No, no, sorry. Oh, give me Ecclesiastes 6, 12 and 6, uh, 12 and 12. Hold that statement. Give me Ecclesiastes. This is why we don't read the, um, the unholy Quran. We don't read no upper books. Watch this. Yeah, 12 and 12. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. It's lucky. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is, slightly, of making many books, there is no end. There is no what? There, there is, is no, no end. end. Of the making of many books, as I'm trying to say, my brother, Marking. Muhammad was not a prophet. He even could he read, read and write. These books, there is no end, man. What that call? Call up, bring out this. It's not part of my religion. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and 23. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed, and if a what? If a damsel that, that is, is a virgin, virgin be betrothed. So if a damsel, which is a woman, is a virgin and she been betrothed, meaning she's been caught by a man, listen to the sister. Be betrothed unto her husband. Find out when Rebecca and a man find her in the city. And a what? And a man you find her in the man. city. What about the city girls? And a man find her in the city. A man find a woman that's got a husband. Give me Sirach um, 23 and 22, please. So if a man that find a woman that's got a wife, a husband, sorry, in the city, and what? And lie with her. And what? And lie with her. Then he shall bring them both unto the gate of that city. And he shall stone them. So what? And he shall stone them with stones that they die. That they die, man. Adultery is a something that's wrong, man. I'm going to show you why. Because the Bible says, right, of the beginning of the woman came sin. Kick, uh, give me that as well in um, Sarah 25 and 24. We're going to bring that up, man. We're going to prove all things. Prove all things and keep on holding Sarah 23 and 22. Yeah, now I'm continuing my lesson because... I'm trying to get through to you, my brother. As I say, you're an Israelite. Just repent. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And just read the Bible, man. It's for you. There you go. Of the... Anyway, I wish, yeah, I yeah, wish yeah, 25. the best 24. Of Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, 25 and 24. Of the woman. Of the who? Of the woman. Come the beginning of sin. Come the what? Come the beginning of sin. Why would the Bible say, of the woman come the beginning of sin? We're going to find out why the Bible says that, man. Because last time I checked, a man can sin equally as a woman, but there's something that she can do, man, that her sin top the man's sin. Let's find out. Bring out that. Syrah. Brother, listen to this, brother. Syrah, chapter 22, verse 22. Thus shall it go also with... The wife the that leaveth her husband. So it says, Thus shall it go with the wife that leaveth her husband. We already read that the adultery, being a city girl, is something wrong, man. You're going to be put to death, man. Read. It's a mercy for my daughter. And bringeth in an heir by another. So, and if she bring in another man, right? Read. For first. She hath disobeyed the law of the Most High. So firstly, she had disobeyed the Heavenly Father, man. Read. And secondly, she hath trespassed against her own husband. And secondly, she has trespassed against her own husband. Right? Read. And thirdly, she hath played the whore. She has what? She hath played the whore. She has played the whore, man. When you commit adultery, man, you play the whore. Right? Read on. In adultery, and brought children by another man. What is she has done? And brought, and brought children, children by another man. man. Brought what? And brought, and brought children, children by, by another, another man. man. This is why it says, of the woman became the beginning of sin, man. Because a woman can give a man a child that's not his. But a man cannot give a woman a child that's not hers. This is why it says, of the, the woman is the beginning of, of the sin, man. Because I'll be honest with you, yeah. I'll be real honest. If 
a lot of these women, if most of them, if, if not all of them, close their legs tomorrow, guess what? The porn industry would have shut down, man. Right? Yo, yo. <laughs> you know me, I tell the truth, right? Yo, if the woman them close them legs tomorrow, right? The abortion, the unwanted killing.